Hi ladybugs, welcome back to my channel and we're continuing with bluebells and butterflies mini album and we're getting there, we are getting there see we're almost there, I haven't glued them in yet which I will do in fact I will do one with you guys I mean it's, it's you know really it's just basic gluing and this is the last page which we haven't done yet so let's put that aside and let's just I did clean it but anyway so now we're coming I don't even know what page this is anymore page four I've sort of covered it with paper you know the thing so this one is, is really it's such a simple one as well I haven't cut the papers for these you can see that in the flip through don't really need to rub that up because paper will cover it but there you go I've done it so this one is merely gluing this one on onto the side don't know what that is and it's raining a bit which is just lovely because it's been another sweltering day you know what I can't stand about the heat anymore is the humidity oh my goodness me humidity gets me every time and even Porto in, Port in Portugal it's uh, the in the north it's humid as well oh. and that's where my apartment is so that goes down and of course let's not forget I wonder if I should just I'm going to just put one because I want to save on magnets yeah, I think I'm just going to put one on here because this is just a really a blank page, I suppose you could say, with uh, for to collage photographs on. And let's put that down there. And there we go. Let's just put this one down. That's it. And now here we have three belly bands. How cool is this? I, it looks really nice. I haven't cut the, pap the papers to go in there yet. And um, I've glued this down, but not on the edges. Why, it's the matter, Jota. That's my little baby there. He's my, my boy. So I am going to put... He wants to come to my lap. <laughs> Sometimes when I'm working, I let him come on my lap. Oh no, man. Come on. He's shorter. He's just the cutest little animal ever. Well, my other ones were cute too. I still miss the, my Maltese, Mushu, Coco, Gigi. I had four. I had four of my little guys and I love them very very much but they were old and so you see you just put it down like that and then you can go ahead and just do and I had it upright again huh? so if I leave it on its side you see then this doesn't happen come on now go and this one uh-uh light down so I don't have to fight with it again like so and we are going to do the same thing on the other side. Put 
put some glue I must just see I must be running out of space by now I've been recording all day all day so that goes down and then the usual and here Uh -oh, down on the side and then just flatten it and let's do another one now these you can see I've already added thin strips of paper on the fold because it does show a little bit but you don't have to you know you can also just leave it or if you don't want to cut up the paper, washi tape is also a good option. There we go. And then guys, I'm not going to, I don't think you're all quite smart. I'm not going to give you the measurements to cut the individual photo mats to go inside there. You just have to you know measure it I, I did cut one this one so this one let's just double check yeah once it's uh, we'll go in here and then you'll get another one and another one and it looks quite fabulous so that is one more page oh, why is that sticking oh no why is that sticking there I've got glue Oh, I can't believe I did that. I can't get glue there. Fortunately, paper will cover that. Okay. So now we can turn, and, and that is, uh, that will go like so on here. So this opens that way. And then the other way. Where are we? Yes. That's right there. So that'll go there. And then that opens there. Perfecto. So let's go on to the next page. And I've done most of it already. I mean, it's, um, you know, uh, almost. So I've got my paper. I've put on two magnets, right? So that's going to go there. And I will cut a piece. I'll do it at a later stage for there. Um, and it'll, I'm not, I'm still, um, it can also go on top, but I, I think I'm going to put my piece on the bottom. And this is also, you know, it helps you use up bits and pieces. And then this guy will go here. And just to show you, you know, we've got this beautiful big pocket there. And we've just got a, um, big photo mat. And I used this guy, this punch. So whatever punch you have, I just did corners there. And then I will probably put paper on there as well. So let me just stick that back in here so I don't lose it. And then spend five hours looking for it. If I can get it in. There we go. And of course, this is homework. You can also go and cut your paper to go in here. You're looking at about eight and one eighth or eight by eight inches to, to fit nicely in here. Right, so we've got these in. Um, where's my other one? Here it is. Now, um, gosh, I meant to do this off camera as well. But anyway, I didn't. So we need paper, I'm just wondering which one I should use, or maybe just use all different ones. Or I could just leave it blank to save paper. I'll see at the end, and after I've made the journal, how much paper I have left, and whether or not I'm going to put it in, on here, because this is just where the photos are going to go. Let me just move this a little bit there. Now this delightful one. What we are going to do, 
I need to cut the strip for there. Yeah, that's right. I'm going again. I'm going. I'm not going to put the glue all the way to the top. I'll do that afterwards. So let's just run up the glue here and put it at the top. You know, strip down at the bottom. I think will look nice, but I'll have to choose one. Now you're going to take this guy, where's my other one, and you're going to glue here, I might just leave it off I think the paper, there's really no need because the photographs will just cover it. So I'm going to put it just a little bit in on the edge there, so, yeah, um, yeah, just a tiny bit, not too much, there, I'm going to kind of eyeball it so they meet in the middle, and that will go there, and let's do the other one, let me rub this out. And we're going to do the same thing for the other, for this pop out. And just to make it stick 100%, that should be fine there. We are going to lift this and do the same. Slide it in. Very easy. How easy is that? Perfect. And then we can lift and stick, lift and stick. Actually we shouldn't need to because we've got the glue but just on the corner just to make sure it's nicely down. So there we have that. And then this guy, why isn't this folding nicely there? Let me just, is it too late to move it a little bit? Maybe move this one since I put it on last. Just a little bit, come on now. Ugh. Didn't, yeah, I'm going to lift this one because I haven't put it, oh gosh. That's better. That's better. So be mindful of your spacing there. Oh. There you go. And now the rain is gone. I mean, seriously, it rained for like this could have gone down a bit more, but uh, it'll be fine on the on the thing. Now this, I'm going to glue it down because we are just going to Now, of course, before I put these down, I must put my strip here. I wouldn't mind putting some washi tape, but I haven't really used it any, a lot of it anywhere else, unless I use the strip I've been hoarding. Because <laughs> I do like this 
no it's not quite wide enough so I think yeah I have this piece here yeah I think I'm gonna do that so I'm just gonna trim a piece that should be fine quite like that there so let's put that strip you can cut your a full piece if you want there I am just putting the strip because I want to you know save paper there we go yep perfect Perfect. So we have that done, and I just want to go over it because you know what? The glue is still sticking. Let's just double check that. And then we are going to put glue on here. Put it edge to edge. Yeah. And then you hold it like that. Press it down. Uh, I must do this with you as well. Are almost perfect almost perfect this one is a little bit more forward than the other one but you know what but that's okay with me it should be equal but um, there you have it so there you have I, I, you know you could probably do without also the magnet here but there is your pop-up and I think I'm definitely going to leave these blank Okay, so there we go. I don't know why this came out a little bit, you know, things happen. <clears throat> and I'm just going to leave it before I wreck it. Now this pocket, again, I just had this piece, so, and this covers it, because this is another little pocket. And that... Can go on there. So this was a very easy one to do. So when you open it, it goes there. I love that. <laughs> I love that. And, th and there's really no need to put paper on the back. You are not going to see it. Okay. And like I said, then you put f your four little photographs looks amazing yeah you see the the yeah i like the um what you might call it magnet on there i think i'm getting tired now i've been up early this morning doing this and then is it this one which one is it now oh, i'm thinking of this one oh i ha i need to show you this one which one is it yeah oh, this i've shown you that what am i doing no man, I'm going crazy here. Where's my other opening? I know I've got an opening. Oh, it's this one. And that one, that's right. So this one I have already, um, I haven't glued this down. I just wanted to show you before I did. So this is the two pockets and I've put that one on there. Now I can glue it down. And there we have it. And then, of course, 
we still need to cut but that I, I'm gonna leave it up to you guys you can just do that yourselves I'm sure and of course we need to decorate a bit I'm not sure whether to decorate on camera or just do it off camera and then show it to you hmm we'll see what we do so that's uh, this is actually the other side of the page by the way so we're almost done here I cut out the two squares to put on top and I used this guy and then I just cut another piece to put here and I'll put a decoration in the middle and then this next page once again I've cut cut it out to put on here so I can quickly do that like so and down there and then this piece is going to go I just cut a strip again just from leftovers so let's put that on the top you'll see how nice it's gonna look yep perfect and then this one this paper actually has a fault line in it right through it there um yeah but you know once the photographs are in and the photo pair photo mats you don't you hardly notice it so let's put that down and then this one remember we left the, these up you can also i mean you don't have to put it underneath you can also do your like that i'm just choosing to do it like this <laughs> yeah there we go and then the next two pages I'm going to do that off camera because it's it's no big deal it's just a matter of cutting to size eight and eight and an eighth to uh, by eight and an eighth you know the it, the design paper because it opens like this so I will just put cut papers to put in there what I might do guys in fact I am going to do it because I notice I have a strip like this I am going to make another pocket here because I think it's just begging look at this begging for a pocket so I'm going to make a vertical pocket to go in here and then I'll leave this plain so that's it for now I will be back now um, basically with the last page and then probably glue in the other ones I'll glue one with you guys and then I'll do the rest off camera and like I said you see you know how to make the pockets I am going to do because of the paper you know um, and then we can do some more photo mats or just leave it empty for people to put their own photo mats in there so that's the slot so we will eventually look how nice that looks that will go there the pop-up and then that over for photographs here beautiful we will put you know photo mats in here as well and i was thinking of maybe i don't know whether to leave this free for two photographs there as well you know it depends on many photographs you want to you have <laughs> okay but um yeah and then we, of course we have that page as i showed you so i will see you again for the back page ciao now bye bye